Hello and welcome to this Dr. Ross video on finding the exact perimeter of a simple fraction of a circle. Let's read the question. Find the exact perimeter of the following, giving your answer in terms of pi. Now, when we give an answer in terms of pi, we saw in previous videos, it just means that you keep the pi in the answer. So it might be 10 pi, which means 10 lots of pi, rather than giving your answer as a decimal. So you wouldn't want to give our answer something like 35.67, etc. with decimals in it. We want to give it as an answer that has a pi in the answer, like 10 pi, 3 pi, 2 pi, etc. Now, let's do part A first. We want to find the total perimeter, so the total length around the outside of the shape. Now we've, we can see the straight length at the bottom, we've just got that six centimetres, but we also need to add on the curved length. So we've got these two lengths, this top length, the curved one, and the straight one at the bottom. Let's try and find this curved length. Remember that the circumference of a circle, so the perimeter of a full circle, is equal to uh, pi times the diameter of the circle. So if I draw a little circle here, just from the centre to the circumference of the circle is the radius, and the full way across is d, the diameter of the circle. So we can either use pi times the diameter of the circle, so pi times that length, or the other formula is 2 pi r. Because remember, two lots of the radius, so two lots of this distance here, would be the full way across. So the 2r is the same as the d. So they're really the same formula, to be honest. So let's use it on a. If we had a full circle, we could find the perimeter of that, the length of that, which would be pi times the diameter of the circle. Well, you can see the distance from one end of the circle to the other, that is the diameter of six, so pi multiplied by six, but we only want half of the circle. So we need to divide the perimeter of the full circumference of the circle by two, we'll simplify that later. That will give us the curved length, but we want to add on this other length, which is the six. So we're adding on six. So let's just simplify that now. Well, pi times six, we write as six pi. Remember, we put the num before the pi. So we have some lot of pi, like six pi, 10 pi, etc. This means six lots of pi, or six times pi. We don't write pi six. We always put the number before the pi. And we're dividing that by two, and we still got that plus six. Now, let's use a bit of common sense. If we have six lots of pi and we divide it by two, we'll now have three lots of pi. Half of six is three, so we have three lots of pi, and we still got this plus six. Now, we can't simplify that any further. This is a pi term. This is not a pi term. You can't combine those together in a single term. So that is the final answer. And that is in centimetres, so I should really have put the unit there of centimetres on the end. Now, B... We need to find this length here. So what's the length there? We need to find that length, which we can see is six. And then we need to add on this length. That will give us the total of all the lengths around the shape. So let's find this curved length. You can see that's a quarter of a circle. Now, this time we've got the distance from the center of the circle. You can see if I continued that circle on, that's the center of the circle. That's the circumference, the edge of the circle. We can see that's the radius. Remember, the radius is the distance from the centre of the circle to the circumference. So we're going to use this formula this time. So 2 times by pi times by the radius, which is 6. But we only want a quarter of the circle. This will give us all the way around the full circle, if it was a full circle. So we need to divide this by 4. But we want to add on this length and this length. Well, this length here is clearly six, and you can see this is also the radius of the circle, so that would also be six centimetres. So we're going to add on two lots of six, which is 12. Let's simplify this again. Two times six is 12. 12 times pi is 12 pi. So we've got 12 pi divided by four plus by 12. Now, if we have 12 lots of pi and we divide it by four, we've got three lots of pi, and we've still got that plus 12. Again, we can't simplify that any further, uh, and we should put the unit of centimetres in on the end, and that is the final answer.